What's poppin' IHS? Welcome to Lake Street News, your least favorite week old news station. Today we've got stories about chlorine and not one, but two different police forces. Nine children needed to visit the hospital after an apparent chlorine poisoning at a local hotel's pool last month. Parents said their children received a rash of symptoms including chest pain, rampant coughing. Many reviews of the hotel online have been posted complaining about the experience. These reviews include things like, This hotel managed to give two grub kids at a birthday par oh, party chlorine poisoning. I was an employee until I had to quit due to management screaming in my face pretty aggressively and trying to put the blame on me for the chlorine poisoning. I'll be on the phone this week trying to find a lawyer to sue for these kids' medical bills. And more. Holiday and his press manager, Cassidy Fox, stated that hotel management has not heard any inf official information about the cause of the issues. The Cornell University Police responded at 3 a.m. Wednesday for a fire on Cornell's West Campus. An active fire was located and extinguished in the recycling room on the basement level, CUPD says. There was also a string of fires reported in residential buildings on the Cornell campus during the fall semester last year, including multiple small fires in stairwells and two large fires the size of small fires. Tompkins County Sheriff's Office re released data last week about a program in which an armed deputy met with an unarmed mental health clinician. The program, called the Crisis Alternative Response and Engagement Team, has been in operation since August and has responded to a total of 90 calls since then when the person is reported to be in a mental or emotional crisis. Sheriff Derek Osborne said in a statement, Law enforcement and mental health workers have unique skill sets that can complement one another in crisis situations. The data sharing project is one of several to come out of a recommendation by Ithaca's landmark police reform effort, and the Sheriff's Office will continue to release more information. Thanks for tuning in to Lake L Street News. And good have a weekend. So anyway, for your names, uh, I, I guess this is Vanter or whatever. Uh, so you're well, Jake, you're Emily, uh, you're Ryan, and you're Saffron. Ryan? Who is Ryan?